Hey everybody, welcome back to the Jedi Knight's Watch. Today we have a special first look at the NECA Casey Jones and Raphael 2-pack from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the 1990 movie. So guys, this is a very sought after Walmart exclusive. And Walmart has lived up to their negative reputation when it comes to exclusives. You know, just very unorganized by Walmart yet again, not shown on their website. Workers don't seem to know anything about them or if they have them or when they're getting them. Uh, they didn't hit the shelves at the same time throughout the U.S. So there's different parts of the country getting them and other states still don't have them. Some stores aren't getting them at all, but there's no rhyme or reason to who's getting them and who's not. So it's been very frustrating for collectors to try and get their hands on these. This does retail at $49.99, um, but it has been selling on eBay for two to three times that price. Not sure if this is something that is ever going to be readily available or if it's just going to continue to be kind of one of those limited things that you're just going to have to search on the second hand market and try to get your hands on it. But the box does look pretty cool. Um, it's got the 1990 kind of packaging on it. It has the logo of the turtles coming out of the, the sewer which is one of my uh, most favorite posters or um, images of the movie. I really just think that's really cool. It's very nostalgic to me. Um, reminds me of my childhood. I had a poster of that in my room growing up. This is the first wave of two packs um, when it comes to the 1990 movie version of the NECA figures. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles along with Shredder, Two Foot Soldiers, and Splinter all came separate packaged um, prior so they'll be re-releasing the Turtles in two packs as well as the Foot Soldiers and I do believe Shredder will be coming in a two pack with either Splinter or somebody else. Um, and those will be coming out later this summer and later this fall. So enough about the box, let's get these figures out and look at their accessories. So here we have Casey Jones accessories outside of the packaging. And the nice thing about this two pack is these guys come loaded with accessories. And let's go through them right now. We have Casey Jones, a kind of a half gripping hand with a finger point and a loose open hand, a gripping hand. It actually looks like there's two sets of gripping hands. I cannot tell the difference between the two here. Let's see if we can. Um, so I'm not sure what the difference is there, if they just gave you an extra set in case you know something got broke. But in total, the he does have the fisted hands on the figure right now so in total you have four sets of hands for Casey Jones up here we have the cricket bat a hockey stick with um, looks like a brand on there and really cool um, tape and wood grain and, and kind of weathering on there two Jose Canseco baseball bats a Jose Canseco bat tell me you didn't pay money for this. Ooh, that's it. A golf bag, which can go onto the figure. A goalie stick. Really cool. And then finally, a golf driver. And I would be very careful with this guy. It is super flimsy. I can see this getting bent or broken really quick. Um, but outside of that, the uh, attachments have great detail, really good weathering, and you can also um, just see the uh, the paint application is super sharp, and they did a really good job at making this look, you know, real. Next we have Raphael's accessories. He comes with um, six total hands, three pair. We have the open or the resting hands. Really good look in there, good texture. You can see veins and wrinkles and fingernails. Then we have kind of a, a half grip or a, a point set. And then on the figure are gripping hands, which we'll show you when we get the figure out. Comes with his size and a custom to every NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, a piece of pizza. And then two extra headbands. One that's on the figure is kind of resting straight down and then these are going to be kind of blowing in the wind and just kind of a different variation on the two. 
And also he comes with his hat. And as you can see, there is a, a peg hole in the back there and that's to put the bandana through. And what that does is it holds the, the hat in place on the head. And we'll show you that in a second. All right, here's our first look at the Casey Jones figure in all its glory. Uh, I think it looks really, really great. So as you can see, he has his iconic hockey mask on and uh, the mask does not come off. You can pry it off if you would like to break your figure. Um, but the cool thing is, is there is a face underneath. So the actor that played Casey Jones did not consent to his likeness. So they didn't make it so that you could take the mask off. So this is attached to the face and does not come off. You could just pull it really hard and it will break off. But why would you want to do that, right? I think the paint application looks really sharp. Um, you can see just dirt in his shirt and in the wrinkles and his outer coat is like a, a rubber piece. Um, looks really good in the detail there. It looks very weathered and worn. See the shirt wrinkles there. The hair is sculpted, which is really nice because um, you know when they do the rooted hair, it just it never looks good, never looks natural. So I think they did a really good job. I do have a, a problem with the way that these elbows look. It's I understand with NECA, you know they it is what it is, but um, I don't know if the figure is going to be in more of a museum pose. It just it's gonna kind of be like a, a sore a sore thumb sticking out there but it is what it is i'm um, going down to his sweatpants really good detail here too they have uh they're gray but then i don't know if you can see just a little bit of paint weathering to, to kind of bring out the wrinkles and make it look a little bit more worn and his tennis shoes i like how they they made the 90s sweatpants where the uh you know they're just above the shoe where they tighten up around the, the ankle very cool and as you can see he has the fisted hands on right now i think the mask is really awesome and not sure if you can see it on the camera with all the lights hitting it um, but you can see his eyes in there like i said there is a face underneath and you can see the eyes and if we turn it here you see you can kind of just see through the mask this mask is iconic when you see it you think of casey jones i think this is a really cool figure all right, next we have Raphael in disguise with his trench coat on. They use the same figure that they have previously, same head sculpt, same body, and they pretty much just put the coat and the backpack on top. Looking at this trench coat has really good detail. You know, I, I've heard a lot of people talking trash about it, saying it looks cheap. I think it looks really good. You can see it has really nice stitching in the coat, really nice buttons, uh, the pockets sewn on. You know, really good detail. This is a real clip here to clip on the coat, and it feels really nice as well. You got the backpack, kind of rides up high, which it did in the movie. Kind of has to go over his shell, so that's really um, authentic, authentic to the movie as well. You know, I was afraid too that the coat would be a little bit too baggy, but um, again, I think it looks accurate to the movie. You know, he he did look big in the movie with it on and. And I think that it doesn't look overly baggy. I think it fits what the character looked like. Like I said, the, the coat can come off, the backpack can come off, and you could, you know, substitute this with a normal Raphael figure if you really wanted to, if you couldn't get the other um, release. But um, again, I'm gonna be leaving him as is. So if we want to try and get the uh, hat on, so it kind of just sits on there if we're not gonna use the peg. You know, it kind of just rests right on. And I kind of do have this at an angle too, so it's not that great. So let's try taking the peg out and putting it back in. All right, so we got the bandana pegged through the back of the hat. And this is kind of like if you were to have the wind blowing through. Not going to lie, this was kind of a pain in the butt to do, and I don't think it feels the greatest. And still the hat, I mean, it'll, it'll stay on, but it kind of still moves a little bit. So after futzing with the bandana and the hat a little bit, I did figure out that the bandana itself is just supposed to peg through there and the rest of the bandana gets tucked underneath. And that's how you get the hat to stay on the head. So that's what the bandana should look like. All right, well, let's uh, take a look at the figure's articulation. 
So sometimes with these NECA figures, you really have to work the joints, sometimes heat them up. You know, they're really stiff. So I'm kind of interested to see, you know, how is this figure going to fare right out of the box? So let's take a look. His arms. And shoulders. Pretty good there. And then we have the double jointed elbows. So he's got a pretty good movement there. And then, you know, that's kind of why they make these these elbows look like that. So they're, they basically are more for movement as opposed to looks. And the wrist slides all the way around. His head doesn't quite turn all the way. His hair kind of gets hung up on his shoulders. And he doesn't have a whole lot of movement up. Has a little bit of movement down. Has some turn in the ankle, not a whole lot of rocking back and forth in the ankle though. Has a little bit of twist, but not much. And maybe a little bit of bend in the chest, but really not much that's gonna help you in posing. So for the most part, uh, he, he doesn't have as much, I think, articulation as some of these other NECA figures, but I think he's gonna have plenty to, to pose him in cool ways. And Raphael is going to be the same as a lot of the other turtles, you know, and, and pretty much, you know, that's going to be about as far as I want to push getting his arm. That arm seems to go up better than this one. Not really wanting to push that right now. And the wrists. Head is not going to turn a whole lot when he's got this bandana on, um, but it does go up and down quite a bit. But the uh, the bandana goes on each side of his shoulder, so it's going to restrict that. But if we pop that out, he would have normal rotation. And you know he's going to have not as much hip rotation either. And with the legs. And he's gonna have a lot in the in the ankle and the knee. Pretty decent art articulation. Legs come out too. So I think these guys will be pretty good to pose. All right, so there you guys have it. We got a really good look at the figures that were in the box. We got to see all the accessories that came with the articulation that each figure has. Now I want to kick it back to myself and Rob for a few final thoughts and if we think you should go out and buy this figure. Alright guys, so now that we have take a closer look at the figure, we uh, checked out all the accessories it comes with, the articulation. I wanted to bring you guys back into the studio and just talk about uh, three things that we liked, three things that we didn't like, and if we think you should get this figure. So Rob, let's start off with the three things that we like and I'm going to let you take it first. Okay, yeah, I, I love all the accessories that it comes with, ex especially with Casey Jones. Uh, I mean, not only do you get the the hockey stick, but you also get the goalie stick, all the detail on everything that you were pointing out earlier, the, the two baseball bats, everything about Casey Jones accessories, spot on. Even, even Raphael's got some pretty good accessories, so. Thing two that we liked was the attention to detail on the trench coat the attire and just the paint applications like rob was saying some of the the hockey sticks like the black tape around them like it yeah. looks real and uh, the trench coat has like the stitching the fabric seems really uh high quality um so i thought uh, they did a really good job making it like it popped out of the movie yeah guys i also lo really like Raphael. how you can remove uh the hat and the coat which is yeah. a really cool thing that they added, uh, you know, and, and I even thought about, oh, could you put the coat on another turtle? <laughs> I don't know why you would, but it's still kind of cool that you can. Yeah, and if if for some reason you weren't able to get the Raphael turtle before, you know, you could pick and choose, like you could take it off and just use them as the normal Raphael, but I think this is one you have to get in addition to that, though. But, yeah. you know, if you had to, still pretty cool. Right. 
All right, so now the things that maybe we didn't like so much or the things that they could have done a little bit better. We just got done talking about how the hat and coat is removable. I did have a hard time just getting the bandana peg inside the, the hat hole just to get the hat on. Once you figure it out, it works and it keeps the hat pretty solid on his head. But I do kind of wish they maybe sculpted the, the, the hat to the head so it would just kind of fit on perfectly and you wouldn't even need that. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of my gripe with that. Something too I would add to something I don't like very much is the 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 way that Casey Jones his his joints, so his elbows, his knees, uh, they look very. I I would even go to the point of saying very. Um, they they look kind of like a downgrade from what Neca usually does. Um, so like uh, maybe a toy that's like ten bucks. You know what I mean with those joints the way they are. Um, everything else about them looks really good, but then it you does. see those joints moving like this, and it's like ah, I don't know. Yeah, I agree. I think I think that was probably the biggest bummer for me. And our last thing that we don't like about these figures that we both agree on 100 yeah. percent is the fact that they're just so hard to find. The fact that yeah. they're Walmart exclusives is a very big letdown. I'm part of many uh, NECA fan groups on Facebook, and it's constant, you know, just people don't know where this stuff is or when they can get it, and it sounds right. like Walmart doesn't either. You know who does really good with exclusives? Target. Target, yes. They always have them. Yep. And, and I feel like the employees know a little bit more of what's going on. It comes down to, would we recommend these for you guys to buy? Yeah. I'm going to say absolutely yes. Yes, absolutely. There are way more good things about these figures. Very high quality overall. Just especially if you like TMNT, you like oh, collecting. Yeah. These are definitely something that you should be adding to your collection. Yeah, NECA just continues to blow me away with these 1990 TMNT figures. It just looks like they jumped right out of the screen. The paint applications are just amazing. The articulation is awesome. Well, hopefully you guys found this video informative and entertaining. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so you know when yes. our new content is coming out. Hey guys, don't forget to check our Facebook page and our uh, Instagram. Uh, we do have a Twitter. If you want to check us out there, by all means, please do. But um, our, main, our main source right now, Instagram and Facebook. So if you haven't checked us out there, we can, we're there as well. And um, yeah. Like Graham said, hopefully you hit that notification bell. And if so, we will see you soon. See you soon, guys. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> we'll just talk.